Yeah, and Chameleon, like, you're able to use, like, Air Size and Katana Float to, like, combo or grab. You can combo off Low Sai at any time, so... You know how her string is, like, 1-2? You can do, like, one Low Sai into Melina Size to get a combo. Mm -hmm. Like, you get pretty crazy mix-ups with this team. And they, like, almost all lead into combos. And her, co her combos look so cool, too, man. Yeah. I hate it. I hate that it looks so cool. Ooh, and mix-ups, too, right? Like, she's got strings with, like, built-in overheads, built-in low, so... The amount of, like, launching mix-ups that Chameleon adds is pretty crazy. Nice, okay. Big life deficit here, though. But Melina, like, on a character like Peacemaker, pretty much always has to come in, even if she has a life lead. Since her size don't go full screen, you have to, like... She either has to use, like, a cameo... Ooh, nice micro duck there. Either has to use, like, a cameo projectile or, like, maybe an EX Psy to kind of battle Peacemaker full screen, but obviously, like... That's super resource dependent, whereas Peacemaker has like insane meter list projectiles. And you see Sunio's basically evened up the life here. Nice. Oh, but he caught him. A lot of respect for both of these guys, the potential of grabs and so on and so forth. You saw them yeah. just kind of staring at each other right before the end of that round. Oh, big Sonic boom to catch him so out of good. the lift. Yeah, because obviously like with Chameleon, people do unsafe stuff in the float. And they might do short flow, far flow. They might even use the air special to kind of throw off your punish. But Sunio just getting rid of all of that with Sonic Boom, that huge hitbox. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody give a damn about that if you could fucking cover all of it with one move. Oh, and he caught him! Caught him with the low side. That's exactly what you were talking about. You're going to DQ, Shula. It's all good, bro. Or block string there. Molina's only slightly minus off of that and gets an opening with Glaive. Nice duck on the grab. That was so good. This is going to be big dog, damage. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of respect there. Got him with the overhead, and he catches him with the meaty, too. The meaty mid got him. Yeah, Dexy's looking good, man. He's going to have an insane loser's run. In the forward four, in pressure with that high string. Now that string Melina does, it does start with like an 18 frame high, so it's very like uh, people can mash on it all day if you use it for pressure. But she does get some really good strings off of it, especially with Chameleon to like add mix. Big 36% combo. The meaty mid opens him up again. Yeah, Sunio's not really respecting the meaties right now. He's been combo that meaty mid a few times. Yeah, Molinas do like to get crazy mix going with her stand one, so I understand like mashing on wake up, but just not working out right now. Nice up block too, so that was almost a 23% grab. That was crazy. Uses Sonya there to cover potential jumps. Horsefield eating those size up. Ooh. Oh, caught him with eagerly. Dexy does have breaker break. though. Ooh, Eagly oh, catching the him. Eagly. Okay, that's a kind of a funny thing to see, but. Ooh, nice. nice. That was so wow. good. Yeah, making that second one whiff and then punishing with the telly. Nice. Yeah, and Melina, she does kind of duck down with her teleport, so that is a punish you can get on a lot of stuff that maybe some other characters couldn't. Maybe they would be forced to block the three uh, projectiles. Nice grab with Sonya, 14%. These projectile trees in a big favor of Sunio, but he does get caught by the by the raw Molina Ballro infamous. Yeah, one thing about this game is like you wouldn't think like, oh, if a grab does 13% or 14%, it's maybe not that big of a deal, but it really is, because if you think about it, like it is an extra like 3%, but by the time you've eaten three, it's an extra 9%. Yeah, so that that's shit true. really does add up. Nice, Sonia coming in again. RKO out of nowhere. All right, Sunio needing to mount some sort of offense here. Showing so much respect, but he gets caught. And that's going to be it for that one. And Dicey up 2-0, looking really, really good. Sunio having trouble dealing with this very oppressive, very complicated offense that Molina's putting forward. All right, Dexy up 2-0, trying to close this out. No floss block on the 1-2. All right, good grab. 
Floss block in Molina's 1-2 isn't the easiest thing, but I feel like if you're a North American, like, online tournament player, you kind of got to, right? Because there's so many Molinas running around these days. You know, there's Hourglass, Dexy, Dark the Go. There's probably a few I'm forgetting, Violets, you know? So you got to really get that Floss block down because it really, um, it doesn't necessarily limit her game, but it makes her kind of have to commit to more risky gameplay. Nice forward throw, 13%. From Jade. Another grab. Let's see what the follow up is. Goes for another grab. Just woke up anti gravity there. Worked out too. He got out of there. Got big life lead too. Dash up. I, I bet you Dexy was expecting the dash up throw. Got him with the dash up. Yeah. Mid. Yeah. I'm a show off. Because we saw him a couple times already that round alone. Catch him with that dash up grab. So dash up mid. Very smart. Ooh, nice catch him with the air ball. Extends it too with the size. That air ball is such a unique, interesting, and such a strong tool from Molina's entire tool set, especially with Chameleon, as we just saw. Yeah, and I feel 460. like... 460. I feel like the first, like, four months of the game, Mol Molina's almost didn't use the air ball at all, like, in neutral. But now you see him, like, really open it up. And Dexy got the round there. Yeah, we really started seeing Hourglass use that the most, just doing it raw, because whenever it's maxed out um, charge, like, you can't punish it, really, so... Yeah, after the turning, we gotta ch check out these Drake and Kendrick drops. <laughs> yeah, Kendrick immediately dropped after Drake. That's crazy. Nice. Landed the jab, but didn't fall through. Just did the single hit. All right, we're seeing him use the down three a little bit more often in neutral. Oh, we tried to catch him with the blow dart. Ooh, Sagrado's gets the conversion. Man, he caught him, dude. Great conversion. That's the thing about Molina in this game is almost any stray hit she can convert with ball roll. Ooh, there the mix. Oh, it's so tough. It's almost unblockable. Ooh, and the punish on the projectile. Next, you gonna take yeah. a 3-0. And similar to your boy Tweety, Joystick is rocking the Ermac combat card despite already dropping Ermac. You know, <laughs> it's just how we do it, you know? No, he might have not completely dropped Ermac, I don't know. But going with Lou here in the tournament. They're both they're both starting on Molina, so they're on they're on the same clock with Chameleon. That's interesting. Nice micro duck on the stand one, getting a big opening yeah. there. And you mentioned that the first set that we had Joystick on. Joystick is gonna be going for those grabs a lot and he'll neutral duck a lot too. He's willing to take those risks and you see it paying out right there. Ooh, nice mix with Chameleon. Tried to get a little too optimal there and dropped it with the stand three. Ooh, just Wake up down one. It makes sense to mash on Molina, right? Because they do like to lead with highs. Because her mid string is good, but without like Molina out, it's like there's not really mind games off of it. You're always minus stuff like that. Whereas off of her high strings, there's way more mind games to them. So I understand Joystick waking up Microduck, waking up down one a lot because Molina's, they will just check you with that mid, but they really want to go for the high strings if they can, you know? Oh, nice. Just walk up Molina. Because. Lose, they counter poke with down three a lot. His down three may be his best poke. So just dash up Raw Molina. That's going to work. Nice also, game. a reminder, Joystick is actually the person that sent Dexy into losers. He beat him 3-1. So we're seeing the run back here. Dexy with the opportunity to avenge himself. But it's not starting off too strong for him. I mean, Joystick working on a and this near is gonna, flawless at this point. I don't know if this will kill. He's got three bar. Yeah, this will kill. Yeah, for sure. Because he's got Molina to extend. Yep, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could have kept going, too. Dominating. Yeah, familiarity will always reign whenever it comes to side characters. No need to overcomplicate things. If you're just... If you're picking Lou for a reason, then... Yeah. You see Dexy actually able to do the stand one side mix-up, but was able to combo without Molina with Katana float. So she doesn't always she doesn't only get those mix-ups with Molina, she gets them with Katana as well. It's another reason why this team is so good for her. My nice sweep. Ooh, back throw. It's gonna combo too. Gonna opt for the under so Lou, he can end combos with flying kick, which does a little more damage. Or he can end it with like that underground move that actually gives pressure. So you see when he's at a life deficit, he's obviously going to end with the move that gives pressure instead of the slightly more damaging move that knocks him into zoning range.
Nice, right, nice job to... with the glaives here, really chipping away at Joystick's life bar. Yeah, and trying to keep him honest, trying to keep him scared to press buttons, because if one of those glaives hit, it would have been over. Ooh. All right, good block on the mix there. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that Dexy thought Joystick would be looking out for the ball roll overhead, but he wasn't. Ooh, no pickup, though. Mm, well, mistimed that a little bit. Kind of an awkward hit there, only one of the size hit. Nice, got the throw combo with Katana Float into the hard knockdown. Well, everything's a hard knockdown, but it's a really good knockdown off of forward four. Yeah, unfortunately, it's the same setup with Molina Cameo. Joystick just didn't guess right that time. Ducks to grab. Wow, okay. He's able to break. Has to break. Does have a choice. But realistically, one touch away. He does have Fatal. But, Ooh. Um... <laughs> the coverage from Air Molina. That was so good. Melina cover and Melina. If you don't have your own back, then you know who does. Type of deal, <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> true, true. It's one of them situations. True. true, but that setup is so good because if they try to jump the low side, they're going to get caught. They get hit with the low side. It's going to combo. It's bro, it's crazy. We're really playing 4D chess right now. I can't wait until after the tournament. We're going to listen to these disses. Oh uh, yeah, dude. That's probably all I'll do tomorrow is listen to him on repeat, figure out who did better. Yeah. Because, I mean, people are hyping up the race. You're bro, in mine. <laughs> all right, all right. like the yeah, judges. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be a no for me, dog. Going to Hollywood. See, a lot of people hyped up Drake now. A lot of people are hyping up uh, Kendrick's. That beef starting <laughs> to heat up. Well, over here on MK, we got... <laughs> 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 Joystick with the Lou Dex with the Molina 1-1. One, one. Great show so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big yeah, opening right. with 4-4. Four, four. He's got Molina too, so he will be able to extend with uh, the size there. Yeah, he recognized that he was hitting that 3-3-3 three, three, three a little too low for the flying kick. That's one I thing you see out of character mains is they're really able to recognize when they're going to mess something up and stop. Or they might even be able to recognize, you know, if they mess something up, what they can do off of that mess up. Just because yeah. they've been in those situations so many times. Yeah, like in that situation, he basically set himself up to get for Oki, right? So. Yeah. But the raw ball roll. Sometimes it catches all of us, okay? We're looking at the highest level of MK right now, and he's getting caught by a random ball roll. It happens, bro. Yeah. And they're both on the same timer here with Chameleon, both on Jade right now. Gets an opening with the 1-2 into the Jade. They both have Katana, so we sh could see some float shenanigans here. Back into Not Melina please. with the Convert. Long combo. All, All right, right, sounds good, Big Wood. Yeah, you'll be next. A good nice back grab. throw. And actually able to switch cameos, it looked like mid-combo, into the Katana flow combo. That was sick. Sweep to end to get a nice knockdown back up into Jade. This round didn't start off great for Dexy, but he had a really good sequence there about even things up. Patience. Is that a slight dice life deficit? But yeah, incredible patience from both guys right now. I feel like like as this game goes on at high level, it's gonna become a, like a more and more patient game. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, yeah, especially if if Chameleon continues going like untouched, such a strong presence from um, so many spots on the screen. Has to get something going. Caught Chameleon, but yeah, and Joystick should be able to turtle here. Yeah, nothing really Dexy yeah. can do. Well, I mean, to be honest, could have maybe got in a mix there with Stan One, but I don't know tough at that point there's only a couple seconds yeah still size just a little bit too short there good dash up down one gets the grab about a half a second delay between the sound and the video wait really um hold on um see if anybody else is doing that because it might just be their stream try to refresh and see if it uh, if it fixes it hopefully it hasn't been hopefully like this the whole time yeah All right, good grab. 
gets the restand, gets the guaranteed meaty. And Joystick, gonna take the lead here, 2-1. Oh, is the stream fine? It's fine, okay. Nice, Joystick getting the game there. Sorry I didn't commentate much in that last round. I was trying to see if the audio is messed up. So the audio is good no, for everyone? Good, bro. Besides uh, Stanky? Yeah, it looks like everybody agrees. That's good. Melina, Lucay, Camellia, Camellia, the Fire Temple. Would you ever have told us who you truly are? You also J Illuminate, pretty cheap in here. No. But yeah, so the way Fatal Friday is going to work, y'all, is it's going to be $200 no weeklies. So when it comes to, like, the, the donation no thing at the top, yo, Sakao, thank you so much for 31 months. Um, basically, like, every Fatal Fridays, we're going to use $200 of that towards the current one. So I'm actually, uh, from the stream label, I'm going to deduct 200 from it, and that's going to be put towards this tournament tonight, towards the top three. So we still have $300 in the, um, in the total prize pool for Fatal Fridays in general, which will guarantee the next one. And then the the one after that's already halfway guaranteed so appreciate everyone for the love and support things are going great so far big round there for dexy though in full control looking to tie this up 2-2 two -two. uh joystick did nice. already beat dexy 3-1 this tournament so dexy trying to avoid that repeat really good job mixing in that chameleon overhead Nice air roll into the sides to uh, convert. Only 23% though. One of the lighter Molina combos you'll see. Yo, Foxy, thank you so much for the huge raid, bro. Appreciate you. Much love. Let's Hell go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Huge raid. We're in, uh, currently we're in top eight of this tournament. We got about five sets left in the tournament overall. So it's getting down to like the last stuff. $200 pop bonus. Another little combo there. Ooh. Oh, so, it's really good, man. Yeah, so those combos, the, like, four throw into Katana Float, they scale a lot. Like, you see only 12%, which you might think, why not just throw them? It's actually, when you do it like that, it's actually untechable. It's actually an untechable grab. So they have to, basically a command grab at that point. So they have to duck or uh, jump. So that was really smart there to, like, kind of guarantee that the throw would kill. Dude, that's some scary stuff. To add on to the multiple layers of her offense that she has with Chameleon, now she also basically has a command throw that's crazy. I think actually everyone can do that, I think. Maybe, really? Maybe they need like an air special. Because I know like I was playing Alexander the One, he was doing that with Tanya. Okay. Yeah, because basically you just do like the push of like the initial throw into Katana Float. And then from there, if you have a way to pick it up, you can. I don't yeah, know yeah, if every character yeah, yeah. does though. But Molina with all those air specials definitely able to. So like somebody like Baraka might would be able to, for instance. Yeah, yeah. Nice, got the Big opening there right into the glaive. Not gonna be the most damaging combo you see from Molina, because Glaive does scale combos a little bit. Still 340. Oh prayer didn't get added to 301 damn, so it was a troll. Nice, shimmy with forward four, okay. Keeping the pressure with down back four. Hit Chameleon, but she won't be gone for too long. Her timer when she gets hit is, like, very short. But Dexy in a situation right here where he can, he can avenge himself from being sent to losers by Joystick earlier in the tournament. But Joystick looking really good. Great grab. He's going to be able to combo, yep. Katana came back just in time for that. 23% off the back throw. That's really good. And gets Holy the God, opening there. Oh, the drop though. It. No breaker. And Joystick picking it. It was kind of a weird start to that hit, so I'm impressed that Joystick was still able to pick it up all the way. Goes back to what you're saying. Character specialist, man. Exactly, they, yeah. Just learning these situations. You've seen them a thousand times, even though it's still rare. Big combo right here. Almost 300 damage. Goes for the overhead. Catches it with the meaty mid. It's been working a lot. Nice, Psy. Doesn't go full screen, but in this situation, Joystick's going to have to chase, so Psy's are going to come into play more than they usually would. Nice. Jay Glow into the Dragon Kick. Getting in. Oh, that's going to kill, though. Great grab. 
two two last round. Winner advances in the top four, so oh, it's a big shit. round right here. Patience, so patience. See, see that patience that you were talking about. Gets the glow out. Ooh, nice. That's a good trade. Yeah, Molina's able to pick up those little hits from like anywhere with ball roll. It's so good. Yeah. It makes her synergy with like these projectile cameos really good. Nice. She used the glaive to try to get himself in a situation where, in a range where he could throw the sigh. Ooh. But he catches him with the low. It doesn't combo. Yeah, wasn't able to connect those sighs. Nice tech on the back throw. Was probably aware of the joy. Whoa. Whoa what's that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> what is going on? Now, you see there, Joystick. Oh. You might be wondering why does Joystick just hold the whole glaive? And why did Dexy right there? Because you can jump it, but these really good players, they're going to be scouting jumps all the time off that. Especially a character like Melina who can combo you from anywhere. So that's why you see them just respecting Jade or the glaive back to back. Dex is in a great situation right now. Has to get the grab. He gets to float. He's gonna be able to combo. He has to fatal because he is in a tough spot right now. One touch. Yeah, Dexy could just block here, I think. Yeah, he's only got 13 seconds, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, just Pretty block, yeah. It. Yeah, just blocking. Has to go for the grab he is going to get a combo That's off of this, but again. loot combos it are kind of long. Enough. Yeah. He has to cut it short. Oh, he tried to go for the meaty overhead. That would have been so smart, but he just mistimed it.